Hi there, it's Joe from Minerva. Today we are going to do a fit video on a full bust adjustment. If you need a small bust adjustment, that's on a separate video. So today we're looking at a full bust adjustment and you will find lots of useful information in the Figure Fit book, which is listed below, and it gives um, fantastic, simple layouts and instructions to make the pattern alterations that I'm showing you today. You'll know if you need a full bust uh, alteration because either you always need one because it's been the pattern of your clothes shopping and buying over a number of years but if you make a garment and you think there's oh, something not right with this you might get pulling drag lines here you might get um, very little ease in the back across here because your bust is taking that fabric from the back and using it for the front and you sometimes get some drag lines here because this is being pulled out and it's stretching the arms and you'll get very tight arms your your arms might go up into your armpit because your fuller bust is filling more of the front of your fabric it's often a mistake with a full bust to measure your full bust and pick your pattern from the pattern sizing chart off your full bust but if you do that you'll end up with very big shoulders very big arm everything will be too big because you've used the full bust measurement and really you need to use your upper bust measurement. To take your measurement, you need to take an upper bust measurement, which takes into account your back and your shoulders, the width of your sides. Okay, so this is the upper bust, so this is 36. And then you need to take your full bust And you might you want that to be I, I like mine a little bit bigger but you can have it tight if you want and that for me is 39 and a half so the difference between my upper bust and my full bust is three and a half inches this puts me between a C and a D cup so sometimes if it's a fitted garment I will do a full bust adjustment if it's not and I've not had any problems with it and it's got plenty of easing I generally don't do a full bust adjustment but you will know from your body shape and your body size and your shopping experiences whether you'll need to do one or not. Also I can't stress enough not to worry about what size the pattern is so whether you're cutting a 12, a 10, a 14 it really doesn't matter because it's all about choosing all the size information below. So quite often I see comments um, did you cut a 12? I cut a 12 and it didn't quite fit. Well, a pattern is just a template for you to fit to yourself. So concentrate more on your actual body measurements than what size you fit in, because that's just a number that the fashion industry use to uh, plot sizes into. That doesn't mean that you fit into those sizes. So it's really important that you check your size. It's also important if before you do a full bust adjustment to check the finished garment measurements because it may well be that if the pattern's got quite a lot of ease, um, your bust would fit into the full gar uh, finished garment measurements anyway. A fitted garment is a little bit different. That's where you really might want to do a full bust adjustment. So I'm going to show you how to make the uh, alterations for a full bust adjustment on a darted bodice. If you have a very full bust, you might find that this style in the past has been not very kind to you because if you're, you will get it too tight across here and if your bust is in here, then the hem will ride up. So that's another sign that um, you need a full bust adjustment if the hem is riding up at the front. I'm going to show you on a darted bodice first where to put all the markings. So I've traced it out in green and you need to find out where your bust apex is. And the first line you're going to take through the dart and off onto the side. Then you're going to make a line that's perpendicular to the hemline. So you've got this section here. So you can imagine that now moving out and giving more room here. Your next line is going to go from the bust dart out to the arm 
and you will also need to mark on your seam allowance so this is a 1.5 seam allowance because you're going to cut to there and not through the seam allowance and this line down here will help us to give your um, hemline more length because as I said before if you've got a fuller bust then you're going to raise up the hip, uh, hip line and hemline um, I've made mine in paper um, but I'm, if you use a Swedish tracing paper your paper will be more pliable for when you try a tissue fit so underneath this I'm going to add a piece of paper I'm going to make a one inch bust adjustment so I'm going to add half an inch to this because remember the other half an inch will be on the fold on the other side so I've spread the pattern it's hinged here I did snip through but I've hinged there as well so you can see now that we can manipulate and change our pattern I don't want to worry about that one at the moment I want to show you where to add that half an inch so i'm going to use that pivot on the armhole to keep the arm sight the same so that hasn't changed now we're going to put a half an inch along this line here so i'm going to spread it out and add half an inch from the end of the dart here. I'll just make a slightly bigger line so that you can see. So you're not measuring here at an angle, you're measuring there and then you can take that down. I use um, surgical tape because it's more pliable when I try it on and tear it off with my hand. Makes it quite easy. And I want all my tape to be on the right side so that I can press it on the back side without melting anything. So that has now opened up the upper bust. It's opened up a space on the full bust and it's also made the dart deeper so I've got to rejoin those dart legs and of course if you've got a bigger bump then you need a bigger dart that's sort of the rule so I'm going to extend those dart legs out and I'm going to use this paper to rejoin the dart side we're now going to line back up the hem and the centre point fold. Which now gives us that extra bit of body length. And at this point, um, I would leave some paper on the bottom and I would tissue fit and try it on and see if I need to add any extra length 
hopefully by adding this here I've added enough length and my deeper bust start but you know if you've if you've made an alteration and it's the first time you might want to know because once you've done all this work um it will be the same for every pattern that's a fitted darted top so it takes a long time to do the first one but then after that if you get a really good fit then you know exactly what to do okay i'm going to cut this shape out but i'm going to leave plenty of space here to make the rest of the dart extension to replace the dark extension I'm going to bring the dart to its fold lines pin and then I'm going to press the dart down take the pin out I've got my new extension piece now that you've made it it's a good idea to pin it all together and pin the side the back piece on along this side seam and you can check that you've got the right length for your side you can check it's not pulling across your back because it may be that if you've got a fuller bust you also need to do a broad back adjustment so ensure that one adjustment isn't going to affect another by double checking. Thanks very much for watching. I hope that's given you some food for thought. Um, it might be worth trying a full bust adjustment on just one item and seeing if it makes a difference. Once you know you need it, um, it will become second nature. It seems like a bit of a faff at, at first, all that drawing lines and everything. But if you can make really well fitting garments by knowing the alteration that you need, you will be much more successful. Do come back again for more fitting tutorials and if you want to uh, pop the book in your basket, if you hover over it, it will go into your cart. Thanks very much for watching. See you again soon.